present. Surmise. Reach your dream in date time. Educational consultants interviews. Interview number one. Yes, come in, come in. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Um, hello, Noren. Noren, right? Like, Per Noren. Yes. Oh. Yes. So please tell me where you're from and what is your educational background? I was from Phnom Penh and I graduated in uh, 2009 and then I got a scholarship to study at Harvard University. Uh, after that, I got another scholarship to study at Cambridge, which is my last education. Okay, Nuren. So this is your first job. And have you ever volunteered in any charity or social events? Well, I have volunteered for many organizations, such as JGI and Isaac. I see your potential, Nuren. And why do you choose our firms? And, why, and what do you know about us? Well, the reason I chose your firm is because you are the most popular firm in Cambodia. You have the great reputation and you treat employees and customer well. You seem like you know a lot about us. And could you tell me about your strengths and weaknesses? Well, my strength is my flexibility to handle change. As I have volunteered for many organizations, I was about to turn around a negative working environment and develop a very supportive team. As for my weaknesses, I fear that my management skill could be stronger and I am constantly working to improve them. Um, Mr. Paria, uh, do you have anything to ask Noren? Mm, yeah. So, have you ever had any uh, failure before and could you describe that situation? What did you learn about yourself and how did you uh, change as a result? Mm, there's nothing much that I have failed before, but for the first time I remember that I failed doing the assigned task on time. But later, to, but later on, I learned from my mistakes and I learned to respect the time. It seems to be an interesting uh, experience that you have. So, in short, could you describe yourself in three words? Three words to describe me? Hardworking, creative, and intelligent. Mm -hmm. Good point, Naren. In our firm, you are supposed to expose to different kind of customer. And can you describe a customer you think is challenging? Uh, a client that I think is challenging is students. Because student is young, curious, and inexperienced. Therefore, we have to provide the utmost assistance to them. Actually, Teamwork is crucial in our firm. And what do you think about your teamwork ability? Um, I believe that I have a lot to com contribute in team environment and I'm comfortable in both leadership and player roles. I'm outgoing friendly and have a strong communication skill. Mm, your experience seems promising. So my, my question is, uh, what, can, what do you think you can bring to this position at a company that others cannot? Well, I can bring new experience, techniques, and lessons that I learned from abroad to this company. I guarantee that this firm will have the most outstanding consulting and counseling service in Cambodia. Okay, so my, my last question is, what are your career goals for the next five years? Well, my career goal in the next five years is to become a well-known counselor in Cambodia. Mm, okay, so uh, that's it for the interview. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. So, my first question is that if I got selected, uh, what do you expect from me during the first 30 days? 
Hmm, good question, Noren. So, if you got selected, um, I would expect you to show good attitude, like come to work on time and be professional in your job. And another question is that, how do you evaluate the employee performance? Well, in a nutshell, we assess employee based on their actual result. And another point is that we value responsibility, punctuality, and their attitude toward their working. Yes. Okay, so uh, that's it for our interview. And your result will be informed in two weeks through your email. So uh, you can expect an uh, email from us. Uh, thank you for coming today. And have a good day. Okay, uh, thank you, Laren, for coming you. today. Yeah, thank you, Laren. Okay, have a good day. Interview number two. Okay, so uh, let's start with your personal information. Could you tell me about your full name, your age, and where you come from? Yes, um, my name is Pan Sokhan and I'm 20, 22 years old and I'm from Bailan province and I graduated from uh, IFL. Interesting. So, could you describe yourself uh, briefly uh, as a person? What do you like? Actually, I'm an adaptable person because I easily adapt to a new environment and adapt to new people. And moreover, I also uh, reliable because most of my friends, they can uh, depend on me and rely on me. Yeah. Mm, so, how did you know about us and why do you choose our company? Um, I found the information of your company on the social media and moreover I chose your company because your company is one of a company which can help society to uh, provide student loan to poor, poor students which don't have enough man money to uh, continue or uh, yes to con continue their study and I want to be a part of your company which can help uh, those students to improve our uh, human resource. Hmm, interesting. So, why do you apply for this position? Um, I apply for this position because I'm interested in educational uh, field. And moreover, I think this position is related to my previous job, which I used to um, give information to student parents and I also used to teach at primary school, yes. Okay, so uh, do you have any hobby or interest and could you tell me a little bit about that? Mm, my, my interest is I, I like to consulting to other people and give them a good advice and moreover, when I have free time, I like to watch an uh, inspirational video on YouTube and also uh, research about the like, creative idea on YouTube and pin interest. I think um, that's enough for your personal information. So now let's talk about uh, work related uh, experience that you have. I heard you mention about your previous job. Could you tell me a little bit about it? and? Have you, ever, have you ever volunteered in any charity or social events? Um, actually, it is not my first job. I used to work as a receptionist at U.S. English School at my province before, and I also used as a set consultant at Dilak Auto. Um, for the volunteer, char uh, volunteer activity, I used to uh, volunteer at Art Project, Global Peace, and also uh, used to be a liaison official at CM Yes. That seems to be an interesting experience that you have. So, Mr. Director, do you have anything to follow up? Um, yes, Sakon, you seem to have a lot of experience during that time. And with all those experience, could you identify your strengths and weaknesses? Actually, I'm a good communicator, which I can easily communicate to anyone. Um, 
Moreover, I also um, an independent person can work by myself and I can also adapt to, to a new environment. For my weakness is I am a sensitive person. Uh, you mentioned that you are good at working independently and are you good at working in a team? Um, yes, I am uh, because I used to work as a volunteer with my teamwork uh, many projects before and as you know that in a team we, we also um, like uh, do something by ourselves it's like uh, writing a project and then we swap it to uh, our team to check it yeah. um, there seem to be a lot of things going on with your experience and I think failure is inevitable and could you describe a situation where you failed? And what did you learn about yourself and how did you change as a result? Um, I used to fail at my exam at year two, when I was year two. And I learned that um, progress net can affect to my plan. And Moreover, I also learned that even though I have a short time to do something, when I supplementary my exam, I also did it best when I learned it by heart. Hmm, very interesting answer. Um, so, what do you think you could bring uh, to this position that others cannot? I can say that I can bring my personal experience to match this position. And another thing is I, I, will, I will use my habit which I like to watch and research inspirational video on YouTube to improve my working performance. Yes, um, seem like it should be the end of the interview and I have one last question. What are your career goals for the next five years? Um, thank you. And um, I would like to admit that I won't work forever. And for my next five years, I, I want to establish my own school for teaching young students or young people. And yes, and when, whenever I get much experience, I would, I would do it. Yes, yeah, thank you, Zakon. And if you have any question, feel free to ask. I so I does your company have any training for their staff? Yes, thanks, Con. We actually offer weekly training for our personnel to ensure that they have the skill needed to perform their tasks. Um, one more thing is, uh, how do you evaluate uh, your employee? Yes, that's it. Mm, smart question, Vukon. So we evaluate our staff based on their punctuality, their actual performance, and the actual result that they bring to the company and to our clients. So yeah, that's it. And thank you for coming today. Um, we will inform you uh, about your results in two weeks through your emails. So you can expect uh, that from us. And thank you for coming today. And have a good day. Okay. Oh. Okay. Post interview evaluation. I think it's time for the applicant evaluation. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we had interviewed several applicants already, and the last two applicants were the most outstanding. What do you think? Oh, for Noreen and Sakon, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, I agree. Noreen, he, seem, he seems to be uh, well prepared, he comes uh, well dressed, and you know, he has a strong educational background. Yeah. And as he described, he show uh, a strong personality as well. Yeah. And one more thing, I could see his strong willingness toward the position. I could say he was a zealous person, 
like he were he appeared to be energetic and he also enthusiastic to the position. Yeah, I agree. And another good thing about him is, uh, as we know, he's been uh, studying abroad, so obviously he has been exposed to the education system of a developed country. So I think he could bring those good experiences to our company. Yeah, but I had a concern about his lack of vocational experience. Mm, yeah, that might be a problem, but it's uh, for our company we have weekly training, right? So we could still train him. And, you know, obviously we don't want to lose such a good uh, human resource. Yeah. Right? And what is your last word? Mm, yeah, I think we should uh, let him know that he passed the interview and let's see him, let's see his performance in the probation period. So uh, I'll let him know uh, by sending email to him and let him know that he can come to work on Monday. Yeah, sure. Okay. And how about Sukhan? What do you think? Mm, yeah, so Khan, she has graduated from AFL, so it's not a bad school, right? Yep. I think her educational background is, is, is not a problem. What about her working experiences? What do you think? Um, Sukhan has been working for several jobs. I think she must have learned a lot from that, and she must have overcome a lot of problems and deal with a lot of people. Week is good. Mm, yeah, I agree. What about her personality? I could see her adaptability and her friendliness. We can be considered as an ideal character for this position. Yeah, I agree. Um, her fun personality uh, could be good sure. uh, in consultation, but she might be a bit childish. But I think with, with this fun uh, personality, um, she could be, it could be good when working with young children. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. And I could see potential in her as well. I, mm -hmm. I believe that she may make it better with this position and she may perform well. And how about let her try a three-month probation? So you choose her, right? Yes, sure. Mm. Okay, um, I'll let her know then. Um, I'll write email to her and let her know that she could come to work on Monday. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. The end. Thank for watching.